Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to configure Visual Studio Code to work with an extension called SFTP. Okay, what we'll do is once Visual Studio Code is open, go ahead and click Explorer icon, then click on Open Folder, and you'll notice here on my Finder window that opens from inside of Visual Studio Code, you can see a GitHub folder. I created this in my favorites by dragging this folder over. Once inside your NMC folder, you want to create the directory that we'll be using. Now, I've ran into an issue, and I'm going to show you the problem that occurs here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a Visual Studio bug or a problem within uh, Finder on Mac OS, but I've selected the CS222 folder and I want to create a new folder, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to say test folder, and what we'll find out is that the test folder, once it was created, it's actually stored at the top of the GitHub folder. Now, uh, this is not what we want, and I've tried dragging this folder down and moving it, and we can't seem to do that. So what we'll do to get around this um, is we'll take the week one assignment one or excuse me the week one assignment two folder and we're going to duplicate it now we'll take this folder then and we'll rename it and we'll call it week two assignment one now there's other ways to get around this little technical glitch within visual studio code for example you could Go ahead and create your directory from within Finder and call it week two assignment two, or you could do it within your terminal window. At any rate, once we have it selected, we're going to click open, and then we'll go over to our extensions directory. Inside the extensions directory, we're going to install the SFTP extension, and this is by Lixmomo. We'll go ahead and click on it, and then we'll select install. And once this is ready to go, we're also going to install a couple of other extensions that we'll use for Git. Now, although we're not going to use these extensions in this tutorial, they'll be of use to us later. So we're going to use Git, and we'll go down to the extension pack. We'll click install in it. And the final one is for GitHub. And we're going to take the pull request and issues. We'll click install on it as well. Okay, let's go back to our Explorer icon. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to use Shift Command P and we're going to type in SFTP and we're going to use config. Now for Windows users you would use Shift Control P to do the same. With this open we're going to change some of the values listed here for our host, the protocol, the port, and the username and then as well as the public path, remote path. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and change the remote path to public underscore HTML. And if you remember, the public HTML path is where on our triple zero webhost.com our site is stored. So we want to make sure that we're pushing um, our code to that directory. Secondly, we want to change the upload on save to false. Uh, if I have changes here in my site that I'm making, I don't necessarily want to upload them right away. So I'm going to save those. And we also have the SFTP, which we're going to change to FTP. Uh, SFTP stands for Secure File Transfer Protocol. And uh, we're not going to be using that because triple zero host.com doesn't have that. Uh, if we had probably a paid version, it might, but we're using the free. We're also going to change the port. Port 22 is standard for SSH, but we're going to be using FTP, which uses port 21. And then we need to change our local host. So if you look here on the screen capture we took from our zerowebhost.com site, you'll notice that we need to send this to files.000webhost.com and our username is going to be the username we set up to create this account. So we'll type nmc-css222-rogers. Again, you want to use the username that you selected and not mine specifically here. Now, we're going to also add a other feature to this. And 
this is found on the Lixmomo site for this extension. And so we've added this comma here and we're going to add a configuration that allows us to basically ignore the VS code extension. And so we did this by pasting in a nur colon VS code. As you can see, it's in brackets. And this, these brackets represent a collection of items. And so we're telling it to ignore anything that's dot VS code, anything that's dot git, and anything that's dot DS store. DS store relates to specifically file types or file references within Mac OS. And dot git is going to be relating to our git uh, configurations as well. All right, we're going to save that. We'll come over here and what we want to do is we want to right click on the screen. We want to go down to sync remote to local. We'll click on that and we're going to enter now the password. And the password is the password you set up for this account here. Okay, the password you entered for your username. So if you don't remember that, you'll need to go back to the site and reset that and so you can follow the step. So I'm going to enter the password. I'll hit enter. And as you can see, the HD access downloaded as well as our index HTML. Now I want to go back and show you one other thing here real quick. Um, for example, if you want to not have to enter that password, make sure you put a comma, hit hit enter and you're going to type password and inside of here this is where you would type the password we'll save it and now um, the configuration is set so it'll automatically keep this um, for uploads now I'm going to tell you I don't recommend putting this information in because um, if you happen to mess up something in the configuration and this ends up out on your website or if the dot vs code ends up in uh, your git commits then everyone's going to see your password okay but that's how you would do it for uh, adding your password okay i'm going to take that out i'm going to save it again i'm going to go back to the index html and we're going to demonstrate now of course the push to that site. So I'm going to add a couple of break line tags inside the body and I'm going to make a h2 tag and inside of that I have successfully uploaded my site via VS code using a SFTP extension using a free SFTP extension. We're going to save that. We're going to select our file and we can click upload or we can select the section in general and do sync local to remote. Now this gives you a little bit of fine grained control so if you want to just sync one file you could or you could sync it all. So I'm going to go ahead and say sync local to remote. We're going to enter the password because if you remember I deleted the password configuration portion and I'll hit enter and uh, our code should be uploaded. Now we can validate this by also going over to the SFTP extension icon. We click on that and expand my server. And this right here is showing us what's out there on that site. If I click on the public HTML index, I see that I also have the code that's validated. Let's switch over to the triple zero web host site and take a look what's out there. Once you're logged in, click on the link at the bottom. Click details and visit this unsafe site. And you can see our code has been successfully deployed to the web hosting service. Well, that's all there is to this video. Uh, I hope you found it useful and informative on how to configure your Visual Studio Code editor with the SFTP extension.
If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. There's more videos coming, and subscribing will make sure that you're notified as soon as the other videos come out related to this topic. Take care.